it's Aisha and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about today's video because it has to do with home decor. I saw this upcycle on TikTok but I'm pretty sure it's been around before that. Basically what people do is they take their glass vases and give them a ceramic look by mixing together paint and baking soda. I already have my glass vases so let's just get into it. Okay, so I got my vases from Value Village. Now, I got four vases for about $12, so $3 a boss. If this DIY turns out how I think it's gonna turn out, I will be super happy because one ceramic vase outside can cost from like $15 to $30 based on where you shop. So I got all of these for 12 bucks and um, I'm super happy about it. Okay, I'm gonna tie up my hair because, you know, painting and all, but I have everything set up here. Uh, my desk is pretty small, so I'll make it work. Um, so if you go to any home improvement stores, you can get paint samples from there. I got my paint samples from Home Depot and I got them for approximately $5 each and I bought three of them. So I got tribal pottery. I got aged beige. And then I got Mesa Taupe. Mesa Taupe? Mesa Taupe. One or the other, I don't know how to say it. I really liked the earthy tones that these paint chips had to offer. Um, Aged Beige and Mesa Taupe I know will go wonderful with my home aesthetic. Um, Tribal Pottery I was really intrigued by because I really liked the red and brown tones that it had to offer. So I'm excited to see how it's going to look um, on the vase. Alright, so what I'm going to do is paint this one first and I'm going to paint it with um, the tribal pottery color. With the videos that I've watched online, all of them say to mix in one part baking soda with the paint. So I have my baking soda right here. I'm just going to mix in one teaspoon and see what consistency it gives me. If it gives me the consistency that I like, then I'll go forward with it. If not, I guess I'll keep adding more and then apply it. I don't know, it's all trial and error here, so we'll see what works. I'm so afraid that I'm going to get this on something. I literally got paint on my jacket when I was buying this, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it on something. Okay, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, so the consistency becomes more thicker. It becomes more clay-like, if that makes sense. I'm going to add some more baking soda in this. Alright, so now I'm at two teaspoons of baking soda. I'm gonna need more paint for sure, but I wanna see if I could do the first coat with this. So I've seen online, they say to ap apply a generous amount of paint the first time, so let's see. Ooh, this looks nice. Yeah, I think this is definitely gonna need two coats. One vase done. Uh, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the color. I'm gonna set this aside to um, dry up and I'm gonna continue on with the other colors. I don't wanna touch it. How do I touch it? Okay, I'm setting it aside to dry. I think I'll have to do another coat, but for now, this is okay. It looks really nice. I'm happy with how it looks. Alright, next one is this one, and one dumb thing that I did is I didn't get more of these, so I'm gonna have to wash this, I think, and then just paint it on, because the colors are gonna mix together. I was thinking of doing this one, the Misa Top color, so let's do that. the thing oh there we go got it okay this can go over here all right and the last one I'm gonna do well actually I'm gonna paint the other vase too but the last color that I'm going to use is for this vase right over here and I'm going to paint it um, the aged beige color so let me pull that out um, I also think I should go wash this because the aged beige color is more of a whiter tone and I don't want tribal pottery and misa taupe to mix together so I'm gonna go wash this. Alright, on to painting aged beige on this one. So I think they're drying pretty well. Um, 
I feel like I should have added more baking soda. I don't know. I'll see when they dry, but this is drying pretty well. Okay, so I'm done with this. I feel like I might add more baking soda into my batches because it's not giving me the exact ceramic look I wanted. So I think adding more baking soda in it will help, but I'm gonna let this dry for now and I will check back in later. Okay, and here is the final result. This is what they all look like. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I have to say that my favorite color has to be this one. I believe it was the Misa taupe one. Um, and then the terracotta one is the next color. This one, I like it, but um, I think it's just a little too yellow toned for me in the white section. I would go for something more cooler next time in more of the gray toned. But overall, I think this looks great and I am so excited to decorate it. Okay, but that is pretty much it. They turned out really well. I want to say the only one thing I would change for next time and if you guys are gonna do this just keep in mind don't get this um, I would say get an actual paintbrush because this what this was doing was it was just clumping up the paint when it mixed with the baking soda so I wouldn't recommend going with this I would recommend going with an actual paintbrush because it'll be easier to paint on and then do your second coats as well I was finding that when I was doing my second coats it was clumping up like I don't know how else to explain it it was just like kind of peeling off and clumping up um, but overall they turned out really nice I really like the colors and I'm so happy that I got to do this um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one bye